In the grand theater of existence, a battle rages on, a struggle as old as time itself, the conflict between good and evil. This is not a tale spun from the loom of fantasy, but the very fabric of our reality. It is the eternal struggle that shapes the cosmos and echoes within the heart of every sentient being. Concepts of good and evil are not mere philosophical musings, but profound forces that shape our existence, influence our actions, and determine our destiny. They are as integral to our lives as the air we breathe or the dreams we dare to dream. They are the architects of our world, molding it with the clay of virtue and vice, light and darkness, love and fear. Within each of us, there's a battlefield where these opposing forces wage a relentless war. It is a place where angels and demons vie for control, where light clashes with shadow, where love wrestles with fear. It is the arena of our souls, the crucible of our character. And in this fight, we are not mere spectators but active participants, for it is our choices that give power to one side or the other. Every act of kindness, every moment of compassion, every instance of courage feeds the force of good within us, making us soldiers of light in this cosmic war. Conversely, every act of cruelty, every moment of indifference, every instance of cowardice fuels the force of evil, pushing us towards darkness. This is the struggle of our lives, the core of our existence. The eternal struggle is not a distant cosmic event. It is deeply personal, intimately intertwined with our daily lives. It is the silent song that plays in the background of our existence. The unseen thread that weaves through the tapestry of our experiences. It is the question that whispers in our ears in the stillness of the night. The echo that lingers long after the noise of the world has faded. The stage is set, the players in place, the question is, which side are you on? Life, in its infinite complexity, is a journey of choices. A beautiful mosaic of moments, each one shaped by the decisions we make and the paths we choose to tread. Consider life as a vast, uncharted ocean where each of us commands our own ship. The destinations we reach, the treasures we discover, and the storms we weather, all depend on how we navigate these turbulent waters. Our actions, like the captain's wheel, steer us towards our destiny. Now let's delve a little deeper. Picture life as a grand theatre, where each of us plays a unique role. The script isn't set in stone, but rather is written in real time, through our choices and actions. It's a dynamic play, where the plot twists and turns with every decision we make, every line we utter. But what if we think of life not just as a journey or a play, but as a test? A quest for wisdom and self-discovery, where our choices and actions aren't merely steps along a path or lines in a script, but answers to the questions that life poses to us. On this quest, we encounter various trials and tribulations, each one presenting an opportunity to learn, to grow, to evolve. We face fears, overcome obstacles, grapple with failures, and bask in the glory of triumphs. Through this process, we come to understand ourselves better. We uncover facets of our being we didn't know existed. We learn what we're capable of, what we value, what we fear, and what we aspire to be. Yet it's not just about self-discovery, but also about leaving a mark, making a difference, touching lives, and shaping the world in our own little ways. Our choices and actions, like ripples in a pond, have far-reaching effects, influencing not just our own lives, but those around us and even the course of history. So as we navigate the ocean of life, as we play our roles on the stage of existence, as we answer the questions posed by our grand test, let us remember, every decision, every step, is a reflection of who we are and who we aspire to be. Death, the inevitable end of every life, is not merely an event, but a profound teacher. It is an irrefutable truth that we all must face, a spectre that looms over the human experience, casting a shadow that brings a stark contrast to the radiant glow of life. When we contemplate death, it forces us to confront our mortality, a confrontation that is as unavoidable as death itself. This confrontation is not a mere intellectual exercise, but a deeply personal encounter that shakes us to the core. It compels us to question the purpose and value of our existence, to seek meaning in the transient nature of life. Death, in its stark finality, 
exposes the futility of our earthly pursuits, the vanity of our ambitions, and the transience of our achievements. It strips away the veneer of our worldly attachments, revealing the naked truth of our ephemeral existence. It forces us to realize that the material riches we amass, the power we accumulate, and the fame we seek are but fleeting illusions. Yet death does more than merely expose the hollow nature of our worldly pursuits. It serves as a clarion call, urging us to seek a life of substance, a life anchored not in transient material possessions, but in enduring spiritual values. It encourages us to live lives of compassion and kindness, to cultivate wisdom and understanding, and to seek fulfillment not in what we have, but in who we are and what we give to others. Death, seen in this light, is not an enemy to be feared, but a guide to be heeded. It is a shadow that defines the light, an illusion that helps us grasp the reality of life. It is a teacher that instructs us not in the art of dying, but in the art of living. It teaches us that to live fully, we must embrace the reality of our mortality, and in doing so, find the courage to live authentically, meaningfully, and purposefully. In the face of death, we find the courage to truly live. As we journey through life, let us remember that the shadow of death is not a harbinger of doom, but a beacon of wisdom, illuminating the path to a life well lived. In this ongoing struggle between good and evil, life and death, the power lies in your hands. It's like a grand chess game, where the board is your life, and you're the player contemplating the next move. It's your game, your rules, but remember, every move comes with consequences. Let's explore this concept further. Picture yourself standing at the crossroads of life, one path bathed in radiant light, the other shrouded in shadow. The light represents wisdom, love and courage. The shadow, ignorance, cowardice and greed. The choice is yours to make, and no one else can make it for you. You see, the power of choice is a remarkable thing. It's the one thing that truly belongs to us, the one thing that no one can take away. Every choice we make, every path we take, shapes our destiny. But here's the beauty of it all. While we can't control everything that happens to us, we have complete control over how we respond. So when life throws a curveball, remember you have a choice. You can choose to let it defeat you, or you can choose to rise above it. When faced with temptation, you can choose to succumb or you can choose to stand strong. When confronted with fear, you can choose to run, or you can choose to face it head on. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Our choices aren't just about us. They impact those around us and they ripple out, influencing the world in ways we may never fully comprehend. Your journey through life isn't predetermined. You're not a puppet dancing on strings. You're a free spirit, a soldier of the light, a friend of the divine. Your choices, your actions, your words, they all matter. They're the brushstrokes on the canvas of your life, painting a picture that's uniquely yours. So choose wisely, choose courageously, choose with love. Remember, every choice you make is a step on your journey, a chapter in your story, a note in your symphony. And it's all up to you. Your choices are the brushstrokes on the canvas of your life. A, as we journey through this mystical kingdom of life, we are continuously tested, molded and transformed. Each dawn that breaks ushers in a new day, a fresh canvas upon which we paint our existence, stroke by stroke. This is not a journey with a finite destination, but rather an endless voyage of becoming, a ceaseless evolution of our soul. Life's trials and tribulations are not mere obstacles standing in our path, but catalysts for our transformation. They are the forge in which we are shaped, the crucible in which we are refined. Each challenge we face, each hardship we endure, is an opportunity for growth, a chance to transcend our limitations and ascend to new heights of wisdom and understanding. Our path is strewn with choices, each one a stepping stone on our journey. With every decision, we shape our destiny, carving out our unique narrative in the grand tapestry of life. These choices are our compass, guiding us through the labyrinth of existence, steering us towards our ultimate purpose. Yet the journey is not solely about the destination we seek, but about the person we become along the way. It is about the lessons we learn, the wisdom we glean, and the love we cultivate. 
It is about the courage we muster in the face of adversity, the resilience we exhibit in the face of despair, and the compassion we extend in the face of suffering. Our journey through life is a testament to our spirit, a testament to our capacity to rise, to endure, to overcome. It is a testament to our innate ability to transform adversity into opportunity, to transmute pain into wisdom, and to convert suffering into a catalyst for growth. The question remains, as you navigate the labyrinth of life, what choices will you make? How will your story unfold? Only you hold the pen that writes your tale. So be bold, be brave, and remember, the journey is the destination. The path you tread is your own, and the story you weave is uniquely yours.